Sometimes you're visiting family. It's kind of early for me. And you wake up to a text that says the shower's broke. But you can turn the water on in the utility room. You come over and you check this out. It's all taken apart. This was still in. Um, this little pin drops down in. Oh, can't even see it. Drops down in there behind the brass, right? So you pop that pin, you grab a pair of pliers and haul that out. It's pretty tight. You just pull this beast. There we go. Um, this is a shower cartridge. We'll show you a new one now. So this is basically the single handle mixing valve. Okay, you can go to like Ace Hardware, Home Depot, or whatever. I'll put a link to Amazon to a few different brands of valves down below. But that's all we're doing is replacing that valve. This one, what had happened is it got so tight that you couldn't turn the water on and off very well. And right, right in here, it had worn due to pressure being pulled. Like if you, if you tweak that while you're pulling, it's bad pressure on it and it'll break it. Um, putting it back, it does come with instructions and a helpline, but you know what to do with instructions. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lithium jelly and put it all over these little rubber mixing valve parts. Now I need both hands because if I flip it over, it's just going to get on the countertop. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the slide in. Okay, see the ribs on the rubber piece? That's just to create a seal. So I just put that jelly on it and the O-ring by my left thumb. Now when you install this, on the top plastic flange, there's an H and a C, hot and cold. Hot will be on the left. And all you do is gently slide it in. It's not easy because it's a brand new part. Nice and tight. And there it is. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put that retainer clip in. Okay, so with the, with the valve pushed in, got to make sure it's flush up here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. It's pretty close to flush. This plastic valve needs to sit inside the brass, right? Then you take your little pin and you push it down. Is. So now the valve will not pull out, okay? So that's replacing the valve and now it's just reassembling the unit. I was asleep while all this was happening, but at this point I'm just going to remount this faceplate. It needs both hands because it's such a tight fit. It's easier to get your screws started because you can look at it through here. Get them started, and then you can go ahead and tighten them up. Okay, with these uh, mounting plate screws tightened, you take your sleeve here and you just slide it in like so. Now what that does, that holds these fancy little geared plastic boxes. These are the temperature set limits. Um, now what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to set the temperature hotter. You can make the shower hotter or colder with the full swing of the handle, okay? And we will see if I've got these set right. That one obviously just goes there. And this one just goes on the outside of it, okay? I wasn't here when uh, I think my sister took it apart this morning. 
Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it in the most neutral position and hopefully that will work. So now we take this and when we turn the water on, it goes like that. Okay, so that's our stop limit. Now I'm going to put the set screw back inside here, then we can test the temperature. For this project, your water is going to be turned off, so now I'm going to turn it back on. Maybe. I'm going to have to get some leverage in here. You can hear the water running. Let's go make sure it works. So there's that part. Okay, so when you're setting this, you're on this version or this model, the Moen, you've got your flat tab here. You want to set this 90 degrees to that, okay? Then when you put on your handle adapter, it's going to slide like that. Then when you run the temperature, it hits that stop. So now we're going to see how hot it gets. That's not very hot. So what I'm going to do is remove that and I'm going to go more than that. Right. I'm going to feel with my ring finger where I can see. Okay. 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 okay, so what I've done is I've messed around with the temperature setting quite a few times just to see where we want the water temperature. Um, here we like it really hot. So, Got a huge swing, okay? And it hits the stop. It's really hot. Turns off, everything works, okay? Oh, shoot, that wasn't even in the frame. Okay. I've messed with the temperature stop quite a bit to get it right where we like it, really hot. So the stop will hit back here. Now we check the temperature. You can use the thermometer if you like, but uh, turns all the way off, all the way on. That's where we want it. So now I'm going to set the screw and replace the handle, and then we're done. Okay, with the set screw in place, let's verify everything works. It does. So that's nice. Okay, this model has this type of handle, just a single handle. This little spot right here, the dark spot, that's going to sit right here when we put it in. Then there's a set screw, a little Allen set screw. We run up through this and it tightens up, okay? So, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can turn the water back off, and crank it from the top. Leave the water on and crank it from the top, or you can go from the bottom. I'm not sure which way I want to do yet. I'll probably go down from the top, so I'll go turn the water off. Okay, I've turned the water off. Just going to run a bit to get rid of all the pressure that's being held. That runs out, I'll start working on the set screw. Make sure you might want to cover the drain so your set screw doesn't drop. I'm going to gamble it today though. It's going to 
kind of nerve wracking because if that dropped down into the drain, that would suck. I'd have to just go get a new one because I'm not going to fish around for it. Unless I have a, could find a magnet. But that was not in today's plans. Okay, just snug that up. Don't have to crank it tight, tight. Now our handle moves easily. The problem before was the handle was binding. So you couldn't turn the water on very well. You, actually, you could turn it on easy, but going off, the load being pulled on the valve this way just didn't work. So if you're like me, always grab the, knot, the valve in the middle. It's easier, causes less stress. Okay, so I've turned the water off in the shower. I'll go turn it back on. I'll do a final check and we'll be done. Water's on. Okay, water's back on. Turn the valve, you're all set. There's your mowing single hand or single knob shower cartridge replacement.